Welcome back. So now that we have these options displayed to the user, what we need to do is that we need to get the choice. And as you can see here in the send button, add event listener, click event listener, each time we want to use an application, we need to use its functions or its function. So previously we used the process message and then we used the ask question and we no longer the, want these. And we also no longer want this. And instead, I'm going to create another function just for the assistant, which is going to get the, the uh, user's choice and then respond accordingly. So here, what I'm, what, here what I'm going to do is that I'm going to call this function. Assistant, I'm going to name it assistant response. And of course, we need to create it. And I'm going to create it here. Just let me just close this. And here, let me create it function and then assistant response. And this function, what is this function is going to do is that it's going to take the choice that the user is going to choose his choice here, one, two, or three, or whatever. And then it's going to respond according to that. So if the user types one, then we will get the weather to that user and display it to the user. So what I'm going to do is that here, I am going to get the uh, response by passing it. This time I'm going to pass it. Here we have the user dot message or the message text. You can just pass the message text, message text to the assistant response. And inside the assistant response, you can get the message text. And the problem with the message text is that we need to fix a few things. First, we need to make sure that there is no spaces because the user might type one and then space and then send. We only want the number. So in order to get rid of that, we can use the trim function. And we also need to make sure that this is an integer, not a string. Because if the user types one and, and uh, sends, it's going to be a string. It's always going to be a string, in fact. So we need to convert it to an integer. And all of that is, is uh, very simple. You can do all of that. You can change all of that in a single line of code. So the first thing that I'm going to do is that I'm going to use the parse, parse int which is going to convert, this function is going to convert an string to an integer. And we pass the message text. But before we just pass the message text, we need to also make sure that there is no spaces using the trim. Trim. So we trim the string and then convert it to an integer. And finally, we can here store it in a variable called user choice and that's it now we have the user's choice and after we get the user's choice we need to check which number the user chose maybe the user chose one two or three or whatever and then once we get it we can respond and you can use if statement to check the user choice or the switch I'm going to use the switch this time instead of the if statement. You can use, again, you can use the if statement. So user choice. And then inside the, choi inside the uh, switch, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the cases. So case, if that user choice equals to one, then we can do something. Here, do something. And in our case, we will get, get weather. Case two, case two, we will do another thing, which is just get um, sports, maybe sports news. And case three, case three, which is just get news, general news, general news. And I'm going to leave it open for you because you might want to add your own uh, conditions. Maybe you want to get a specific thing, not just the news or the weather. And also we need a default. The default 
is very, very important. Why? Because the default will be executed each time the user choice doesn't match any of the cases. So if the user, for example, types four, we don't have four. We only have one, two, or three. Then we will execute the code inside the default. And also maybe the user types some dummy things here or some unreadable messages. Then at that point, we need to just call or execute the code inside the default. And also we need to break here each time after the case we break to get out of the to get out of the switch so always break here break and here we also need to break each time you have a case you need to break and what I'm gonna do just for now is that I'm gonna use the alert just for testing for now just for testing to make sure that everything is working so here alert and here we can say you chose weather and we can just copy this just copy this and paste it inside here and here sports news and the default default so now let's test if I uh, save everything and make sure that you call it, you call the function from inside the click event and pass, of course, pass the message text. And now let's refresh. Now we have three options. Let's say one, send, and I'm going to get this alert. You chose weather, which, me which means that the switch works perfectly. Let's use two, and I'm going to get you, cho you chose uh, sports and then three send and you chose news if I type some dummy message and send what I'm gonna get is default so the default will always be executed if the message doesn't match our uh, choices and our conditions